Hello everybody. In lesson 7.3, we're going to work on counting collections. And the essential question is, how do you order coins to help find the total value of a group of coins? So here I have four coins, okay? Um, if you're in a classroom, have your teacher give you a mixture of four coins. Some of them can be the same type of coin. And I want you to line the coins up from greatest value to least value. Then draw the coins in that order. Okay, so here, if you had received the set that I have, you'd have a quarter, a penny, and I have two nickels. Okay, so two nickels. All right, so draw the coins from greatest value to least value. Well, the largest value is the quarter, right? Okay, and then I have two nickels, but they're the same amounts, right? So I would draw five and five. Okay, and my least value is the penny, which is one cent. Okay. Okay, and then on the second box, exchange with a person next to you. Okay, and I'm just going to grab four other coins just to pretend I'm I traded with somebody in my class. Okay. All right. And this time I have a quarter, a dime, another dime, and another dime. So I have three dimes and a quarter. So again, a quarter is the largest value. And then my smallest value would be the dimes. Now why do we even care about that? Well because when we count, we want to count with the largest coin coins value okay not the largest coin because a nickel is larger in size than a dime but a dime has a greater value okay all right so let's go to page 354 so order the coins from greatest value to least value then find the value so here it looks like we have two quarters a dime and two pennies so we notice that we're going to put these in order Okay, so here, let's say I have that, so I have 50 cents, and then I had a dime, so that's 60 cents, okay, 50, 60, and then we have two pennies, 61, 62, okay, so we have 62 cents. All right, how about number one? Remember to write the cent sign as you write the value of these coins. Draw and label the coins from greatest value to least value. So here we have a nickel, a penny, a quarter, a penny, and a nickel. So the largest coin is the quarter. And that's worth 25 cents. The next largest value are the two nickels. Okay, so I'm going to put those in next, and those are each worth five cents. All right, and then we have two pennies. All right, now let's make sure we have the right amount. One, two, three, four, five coins. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 25, 30, 35, 36. 37 cents. Okay, we can count on, keep track of it. 25 cents. The nickel makes it 30 cents. The next nickel makes it 35 cents. The next penny, 36 cents. And the final penny, 37 cents. So count on from the largest value. Number two, we have a penny, a dime, a quarter, a dime, and a nickel. Again, the largest value is the quarter, and that's going to be followed by the two dimes, and then the nickel, and then the penny. Okay, so 25 cents. Add 10 to that, that's 35 cents. Okay, that should be an easy problem to do. 
All we're doing is changing the tens. Two plus one more ten is three tens. So 35 cents. Add 10 cents to the 35 cents. We're at 45 cents. 45 and five more. We're counting by fives in that case. 40, 45, 50, 50 cents. And 50 plus one, 51 cents. Okay. All right. And number three. All right, so here I have two quarters, a dime, and a nickel. So the two quarters have to go first. They have the largest value. Okay, so we have two quarters. Then I'm going to put the dime next, and that's 10 cents. And then that's going to be followed by the nickel. Okay, remember, it's not, the value doesn't matter based on the size of the coin. Okay, it's the value of the coin. All right, so 25 cents. Count forward, 25, 50, 50 and 10 more is 60, 60 and 5 more, 65 cents. Okay. All right, page 355. We're just going to continue the same thing. So I have a quarter and three dimes. A quarter is the largest. It's 25 cents. And then the three dimes. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five. Fifty-five cents. Okay. And you should just practice with this with any coins that you have at home. Okay, just practice counting coins. Here we have two quarters. And we have a dime. And we have two pennies. Okay, 25, 50, 61, 62. 25, 50, 60, 61, 62 cents. Okay, number six. We have a quarter, two nickels, and a dime. The largest coin is the quarter, followed by the dime, which is 10 cents, and then the two nickels, which are five cents each. Okay. 25, 35, 40, 45. And we can show that by just counting on underneath. 25, a dime more is 35. 35 and 5 is 40 cents. And the final nickel gives us 45 cents. Okay. <clears throat> Number seven, looks like we have two quarters, a dime, and two nickels. The two quarters are the largest value. Then the dime, followed by the two nickels. Okay. So, 25, 50, 60, 65, 70. Okay. So that's what I would do if I just had coins in front of me. I'd go 25, 50, 60, 65, 70. Okay. Underneath, 25, 50, 60, 65, 70. So 70 cents. And the last one on page 355, number eight. We have a quarter, three dimes, and a penny. So 25 cents, then 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, and the last one, one cent. All right. So if I was just counting my coins, 25, 35, 45, 55, 56. 25 cents. 10 more is 35. 10 more is 45. 10 more is 55. Plus the penny, 56 cents. All right. Page 356.
solve, write, or draw to explain. Apollo has these coins. One, two, three, four nickels, a quarter, and a penny. He spent a quarter. How much money does he have now? Okay, he had these coins. He spent a quarter. So I'm going to cross out the quarter. He doesn't have that anymore. He spent it. So let's just count them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. 21 cents. Okay. And if we wanted to, we could go 5 cents. 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 21 cents. Rachel has two quarters, three dimes, and a nickel in her bank. How much money is in Rachel's bank? Two quarters, 25 cents each. Three dimes, 10 cents each. And a nickel, five cents. Okay, so 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 cents. And we can count on underneath. Two quarters gives us 50 cents. 50 and 10 is 60. 60 and 10 is 70. 70 and 10 is 80. 80 and 5. 85. Number 11. Blake only has nickels and dimes. He has double the number of nickels as dimes. The total value of his coins is 60 cents. What coins does Blake have? He only has nickels and dimes. Okay. So he has twice the number of nickels. So let's let's do it this way. So we have two nickels. That would be twice as many, right? So he has, if he had two nickels and a dime, he'd have 20 cents, right? 10, 15, 20. All right, let's do two more nickels again. So now we have four nickels. If that was twice as many as the dimes, he'd have two dimes. So now he has. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so that's not quite it yet, right? Let's add two more nickels and a dime, okay? Because twice three is six, two, four, six. He has double the number of nickels as dimes. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, so that's 60 cents. So he has six nickels. And three dimes. Okay, so again, all we did was we started with, okay, well, we know we're going to have twice the number of nickels as dimes. So we just started at two nickels and a dime. But that wasn't 60 cents. Then we added two more nickels, which would be four nickels, which is twice the number two, right? Two dimes. So if there's twice as many nickels, there would be four. Well, then we counted that. That was 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we added two more nickels, and that gave us six nickels. And six nickels would be twice three dimes. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. All right, and number 12. Malik has these coins in his pocket. What is the value of the coins? Okay, so we have dimes and nickels, right? So 10 cents, 10 cents, he has four of those. So he has four dimes and two nickels. Okay, well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50 cents. And you can count on below it. Two dimes is 20 cents. Three dimes is 30 cents. Four dimes is 40 cents. 40 cents and five more cents is 45. And 45 and five more is 50 cents. Okay. All right. So 
that's all there is to counting coin collection. So basically, we start with the largest coin value and count on from there. Okay. So we'd count quarters, then dimes, then nickels, then pennies. All right. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.